guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather and I have been a saint artist for almost six years and I have used the makeup for years even before that. So I'm obsessed with this makeup and my channel is all about helping you simplify your makeup routine into one easy little custom palette. And especially since I just turned 40 last year, helping out those of you who want a little bit more of an upgraded look, but that's still simple and everyday for mature skin. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about the five favorite additional items to upgrade your existing Saint routine. So let's get started. Okay, so on today's Get Ready With Me, I'm gonna be doing my everyday simple Saint five minute makeup. It might take me a little bit longer than five minutes to talk you through everything, but I'm also gonna be sharing my top five additional products that you maybe didn't even know existed within the Saint line, or maybe you've been using the product for a long time, maybe even when it was called mascara, like me. And there's some new products that have come out. And especially if you are over 40 or you have mature skin, these products are ones that I find that not only do I love and use just about every day, but they are products that my customers absolutely have fallen in love with. So as I do my makeup, I'm gonna share my top five favorite additional Saint add-on goodies to your basic palette. So I'm actually going to be working from my number one today, which is the Isle palette. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty, guys. It's beautiful. So you, if you've tried Saint before, you probably were color matched with, or, you know, color matched and got one of these little double-decker palettes. This one is the 3D Palette 12. It is an amazing way to start. So if you are just getting started with the same makeup and you want a custom color match, to be honest, this is the way to go. We have collections where you can actually even match yourself. And I can also give you a free custom color match. Both of those options will be available in the little description of this video. So you can check that out there. But if you've started with this, and maybe yours looks like this where you're kind of out of room, right? And you want to try some new goodies, some new colors. Maybe you need an updated color match then you're going to love this new palette because it is super luxe. So these are lightweight and it's like covered. They're all different powders. Yours probably looks a little bit different, but this one is like a plastic and it's meant to be to keep eyeshadows safe. So I think it's even called, it's called the Isle palette, I-S-L-E, but it's meant to keep eyeshadows safe. But I absolutely love it for my everyday Saint basics. And that's what I've been doing my makeup out of because I love that there's a big full size mirror. There you go. You can see, I can see you there. And it also comes, this is a smaller size. It also comes with this big daddy guy, which is great. It's a little bit heavier. I have all of my, since I'm a Saint artist, I have all of my eyeshadow colors. This isn't the entire eyeshadow collection, but it's all of my favorites, both the shimmers and the mattes. But this might be overkill unless you just have all the things and want like the big, you know, the big, big daddy. It is seriously stunning. But the one I'm going to focus on today is this, this smaller palette. And so I'm going to show a couple of goodies. But before I do that, because I'm going to do my makeup actually with you, I'm going to clean my brushes because this brush cleanser, if you haven't tried it yet, is amazing. But I'm going to step it up a notch with my number two recommendation, which is the travel collection of the, the, the setting spray and the brush cleanser. So setting spray is great if you want to set your makeup all day. I'll be honest, mine stays put, so I don't use it very often. Just full disclosure. So I have a hard time selling like the full size version. But I think when you're traveling, especially if you're going somewhere where you might be like sweating outside, or if you just absolutely love the setting, same set, setting spray, because some people can't live without it. This is a really good addition. But let's do, let's start by cleaning our brushes because the brush cleanser, best thing ever. And I'm going to use my number three, which is our microfiber cloths. So this one, actually, I've been cleaning my brushes with it. So it's a little bit not so clean, but they're so soft. But yet they've got enough grip that if you, you know, use it to just even wet to take off your makeup or to even dry your face after you use your cleanser. But one of the ways I love to do it is to use it to clean my brushes. So the two brushes I'm going to be using today might be ones that you were matched with, which is the detail and the blush bronzer. And I'm going to show you the magic of how this works. So see how she's kind of dirty? So number one, if you are, this is one of my little pro tips, especially if you have mature skin, is if you have a ton of product dunked on your brush, number one, you need to clean it. Number two, you're probably using more than what you think you do. You do not need a lot of the cream foundation with this makeup. And I'm going to show you the right 
amount as we apply today. And so if your brush is getting super gunky with your Saint makeup, you're probably using too much. But this will get you right cleaned up, even if you are. So the brush cleanser is amazing and it makes it clean right away. But it also sanitizes it because I actually did a makeover yesterday and I'm not 100% sure if this was the brush I used on her or if it's my brush. So I'm going to sanitize it just to be sure. And the very best part about a brush cleanser is it actually is dry immediately. So I don't have to wait for these to dry. I can use it right. So let's do it. So let's get started with my number. So I've given you three the palette, the travel setting spray, brush cleanser, the microfiber cloths. So number four is going to be the lip conditioner. So this is one my mama swears by this. She is obsessed. And you can keep it, you know, because all of our little Saint tens come, they're magnetic. If you haven't seen it, get ready to be wowed. They're magnetic. And you can keep it by your bed and even just put it like this on at night. But I keep mine in my palette and I apply it first. So my skin is moisturized. I don't have on any makeup. And actually, my hair is a little wet because I'm doing the curly girl. What do you guys think? If you've ever seen me before, I usually have like blown out straight hair, but I'm rocking the curly girl. So we're going to try it. But let's get started. Okay. So now's the part where we're going to be doing the Saint makeup basics. And again, this takes me full face, seven minutes start to finish. So I'll try to work through it somewhat in real time just to keep this video short and sweet. But I want to show you how if you have mature skin or if you live in the South like me, you might have a little bit of redness or you might have a little melasma. I play golf. So I've got kind of a little bit of melasma, I think, where my hat doesn't cover. So I'm going to take what I like to call my camouflage color, which is a darker color than what you would think. And I'm going to just use this little end of the, the detail brush to lightly, again, a little goes a long way, just enough to kind of get that coverage, lightly apply this first. So again, this is going on any of the areas that I want to camouflage. So the redness, even around my mouth, I've got these like little kind of sunspots, those areas of melasma. I've got a little bit of redness going on right there. And you're slapping it on. Because remember, with this makeup, you do not want to put layer on layer. We are kind of going to do paint by numbers in a not so organized fashion for a second because we're focused more on what we want to filter out, right? And blend it all together. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more right here. And that is my camouflage color. So this is a darker, the darkest of my three highlight shades I have. And I usually, for women over 40, recommend three highlight shades are collections. The starter kits actually do come with three shades, which makes it perfect if you want to try this. My friend Rachel actually came up with this camo hack technique, and I absolutely love it. So Okay, so we've got our camouflage, right? So now we're going to actually jump. So we did the darkest one. Now we're going to jump to the lightest one. And the lightest one for me is linen. So that was amber was my first color. This one is linen. And if you have mature skin, you're going to want to avoid going, even if you think like, oh, I've got dark circles under there. Most of the time, the dark circles is that tear trough right there. Or like I have like a little vein there or again, like where I've gotten some sun. So think like almost like a V underneath your eye, kind of avoiding that under eye area with your brightening highlight. And I'm going to kind of brighten there. So just focus on that. You can also kind of blend it into the side of your nose because that actually will even kind of bring in your nose contour a little bit too. And I'm going to take just a tiny little bit. The idea behind your brightening highlight is it's like a light bulb. So where you want that little bit of extra brightness or glow, also going to use it down the center of my neck, just like that. And again, you can skip nose contour if you want. I'm probably going to skip it today and just focus on doing just that little bit of white down my nose because you can see it kind of pulls in that same same effect. We haven't even blended yet. Okay, next up is going to be your contour. So I have heard some people say that, you know, you don't need to contour over 40 or over 50. I love it. So my mom gets scared of it. And I think that it is because it looks so dark, but just trust. So this is going to be Astoria, which is one of my favorite colors for mature skin. And even if when you put it on, it feels a little dark, I promise it blends like magic. And I'll show you one side compared to the other when I get it done, because it's going to give you that lift in your cheekbone and it's going to give you that definition up here around your hairline that's just going to help make everything look 
just more balanced, like more useful. And if you want, you can even go underneath your chin. And this is one of my favorite little tricks and right on the side of your neck. And it's just going to kind of thin out that area. So see the difference and I haven't even blended or finished the rest of my makeup. So let's go over here. Biggest tips with contour, do not go too low. You just want to press right up under that cheekbone and trust me, you've got them, promise you. And up along the hairline. And again, if you want, just down here, all right? And if you want, you can do underneath your, your, or your nose if you want to. But I'm going to skip that today. Then I'm switching brushes for you guys. This one is going to be my blush bronzer, but it's also going to be how I blend. So I blend using my bridge color. So my bridge color is kind of in between the two. Because if you notice, like I didn't put, like I did the camo, I did the bright, but I have other areas where I don't really have makeup on, but I don't want to put a lot of makeup. I'm just barely tapping and I'm going to kind of blend all of it together and apply that bridge color at the same time. And this is going to make it super easy. It's like a three-step little, little process, or I guess four, four steps to making sure you get the coverage you want, but not like this crazy, like full face, right? See, look, nice and full coverage, okay? Blend out. This is where you can really blend out if you go a little heavy on that line. <laughs> Don't be scared, okay? And next up, lip and cheeks. So I am going to be showing you actually a number five. This is my fifth and final, and then we'll finish up the looks. But my fifth and final is actually something that I haven't used in a minute, but I'm getting so many questions about it. And when I did use it exclusively, I did love it, but I still prefer my 3D foundation. So this is called Demi Color. So if you haven't heard of Demi Color, it is a line from within Saint that is now kind of being integrated into the regular 3D collection. And it essentially is a color correcting makeup that can be used on its own. For me, I like a little bit more coverage than just Demi alone provides. So the way I do it is I do my makeup and then I look and see if there's any distractions or anything that I still want to filter or, you know, kind of take care of on my face. So these are the colors that are all available, but I have picked my two favorite that seem to work for most women to cover, especially women over 40 or 50, to cover or filter the areas of distraction on their face, like their under eye circles or melasma, or like I have like a little kind of scar right here. So sometimes we have to do like the Mohs or like the little surgery where you've got a little area. So both of these, which is O1, which is going to counteract any of your darker spots. That's going to be like, you know, again, some of your melasma, like under, like darker, especially really dark under eye circles. And then the R01. So O stands for orange, which is the opposite of blue, which is going to be the excess dark in your skin. RO stands for reddish orange, which that's going to be more green tones as an excess color, which I know sounds really scary. But green, when you think green, excess green, it's more like mulchy. So that's going to be like your melasma, your freckles. Sometimes even under here, I get these like little darker freckles, as I'll show you. So Demi Color is amazing to filter out if you've got little, any of those little areas that you, you want to do. So I'll kind of get nice and close so you guys can see. Okay, so up here, I've got that sort of darker. It's definitely darker than my spot, but it's not mulchy. So it's no, no green. So I'm just going to take that O, the O1 with the spot brush. If you're going to go Demi, you got to get the spot brush, okay? So barely tap. This is not like your like paint concealer palette where you're doing like this crazy amount. In fact, I just put on too much, okay? I mean, it's not like way too much, but see how like you can see it? When you get Demi right, you don't even see it. It's literally like a magic wand that just makes these little spots disappear. So see these little freckles right here? We'll do those next. So see how they're darker, but they're kind of mulchy. So I'm going to go in with the R. Oh, one just on those spots, guys. And I keep like, I actually really like that little freckle. And I'm going to just go on these darker spots or even like these little areas right in my tear trough right here that get a little bit darker. And you're just going to blend, flip the brush over and kind of blend it out. And it just kind of erases those little areas there, those areas of distraction. And if it really bothers you, we all have them and you're looking for that little extra kind of brightening 
look that's not going to be this cakey clump of makeup that's going to settle into your pores. Demi color is your bestie. Okay, then lastly, sometimes I get kind of a little bit like acne right there. It's like hormonal acne. And again, it's kind of dark. So I'm going to go more with the O. And I'm just filtering those little areas. And they're gone. Okay, so that's Dibby color. So I'm going to finish mine up with my lips and my cheeks. The color Madrid, if you haven't tried it, maybe I can make that my number six. It's beautiful. That's what I'm putting on my cheeks. It's such a universal shade. Honestly, anyone can wear it. And it's perfect for any season, which I love. And the way I do my, my blush is I just kind of apply it to the apples of my cheeks and blend up. I just like a natural flush. And then if you haven't tried Black Cherry, don't be scared of it. You need it. And it's not as crazy as you think when you just put it on like that. Use your finger. Okay. Now let's brace your eyes and we'll be done. So I am doing my brows and I'm actually going to use my contour. Now, it doesn't always work that your contour can be your your magic shade for your brows. I can always help you pick your custom brow shade as well. But if you're using a color like Astoria, for example, definitely try it out because it can be a really good one for your brows, for a lot of different brow colors. And you want your brows to kind of be a little bit more defined than what you think and a little darker, especially as we age. And I like for them to kind of match like my, my roots. So again, I'm doing curly, curly girls and my hair is like a little crazy now. You'll have to tell me what you think if you've heard of curly girl or if you've done a curly girl in the comments and if you are liking the way it looks, especially if you've seen my videos before. And if you haven't seen my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can follow for more. And I focus on both helping women simplify their makeup routine with the Saint custom palettes, but I also focus on some of the business side because I love the Saint business model too. So there's my brow. See all the difference it makes it get just feel like it makes you so much more youthful. Okay, so now let's breeze your eyes. I do my little easy one, two, three, four method with four shades that I can't live without. So I've got pep that I dust all over everywhere, just like this. And it just helps to kind of create a little simple base. So that's step one. Step two, I'm going to divide my eyes into thirds and I'm going to put a lighter, brighter shade. I like a little bit of shimmer. You might prefer a matte. This is Drift that has a little bit of shimmer just right in that inner corner, including underneath, like right under here. You might prefer a matte. And in that case, you're going to want Cupcake. And it is such a beautiful color. Just did a makeover yesterday and she absolutely loved Cupcake. Okay, step two, we're going to skip to the other end and you're going to take a warm kind of medium shade and you're going to contour your, your brow bone there. Go up higher than you think. This is going to lift your eyes. And we all have brow bones. So whether you have hooded eyes or, you know, kind of wider eyes, taking a color like this one, Bubba, and doing like almost an outer V. So remember, we're doing, we're dividing our eye into thirds. And so this is kind of going on the outer third, almost picture like a V going up. Okay, like that. I'm going to do it on the other side. And this brush, the eyeshadow brush, makes it super easy and simple to apply. Drag it underneath your eye like that. And you can flip the brush over to just blend it all out. Super easy. Okay, and then last but not least is if you want to do a little shimmer, don't be scared, but you just want to apply it strategically right to the center of your lid. So this is a color called Soulmate that's really pretty on a lot of women. My mother-in-law even ordered a color called Tawanda. This is like a pinky gold. And she's, you guys, she's like in her 70s and it really looks beautiful. It's, it's crazy. She, it works for her. It's really good. Okay. And then finally, we're going to finish with mascara. So of course, that's the one product that Saint does not offer at this time anyway. I don't know if it's something we'll ever have because Kara, our founder, will only make something if it simplifies your routine, if it fits in a palette, like one of our custom palettes, or if it's like our brush cleanser or the microfiber cloths that honestly are a level up version of whatever it is that's out there already, she won't make it. And so until she can do that with a mascara, you'll have to tell me in the comments your favorite mascara. Mine is by Thrive. It's the Liquid Lash Extensions in, I think it's 
it's not just black. It's like something. It's the one that's black. They have a fancy name for it. And I love it because it really does. It's just simple. I don't do eye. For me, that tends to close in my eyes. So I focus more on highlighting the color of my eyes with that, that fubble color that I showed you. All right, that's it. I'm done. Again, that takes me seven minutes. I know that this video is a little longer. So I'm chatting your ear off. But I hope that that helps you fall in love with your same makeup even more. And hopefully this will help you to know if you want to upgrade your routine, some items that you can add into the mix to build up your Saint Beauty custom. So again, if you want a free custom color match, check out the description below. You can also shop some of the items that I have here in the comments as well or in the in the description. And don't forget to subscribe and follow and hit that little bell to find more videos just like this one to help you simplify your makeup and your safe business. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.